Lee, file 231463. Please place your appearance on the record. John Glazier on behalf of Mr. Lee. Thank you. Have you had an opportunity to go over the substance abuse assessment? Uh, I have not, but I, I think he has a copy of it, Your Honor, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't have a copy. Do you have a copy of this? I didn't know I had to bring it with me. I did. Thank you you don't have to bring it with you. I just want to make sure you've gone over it and you understand what it says. Yeah, I had to go to the class and uh, meeting with the Catholic charity. Well, just so everyone is clear, the substance abuse assessment states a mass score of 13, DAS score of zero, DSM-5 criteria, one out of 11. The mass score of 13 indicating a low level drinking problem. Treatment recommendations says Anthony attended an SUD assessment on 8-8-23. Client scored a 13 on mass assessment, zero on DAS assessment, zero on DSM criteria for cannabis use disorder and one on DSM criteria for alcohol use disorder. Due to the answers that the client gave for self-report, the clinician cannot find a diagnosis. This clinician did observe that the client may have minimized his answers for alcohol use disorder and continued to be untruthful with his clinician about the effects of alcohol on his life. And this was Jeslyn Haldridge, LLMSW, Substance Abuse Counselor. Is there anything that was inaccurate in that report? She told me I did great. She didn't see a problem with me. Mr. Glazier, is there anything you would like to say before sentence is passed? Your Honor, just that my client ha has some priors. They're they're fairly far back. The one I think is one two thousand two, and the other one is two thousand fourteen. He does have uh, work lined up, and uh, you know, if the court was considering any incarceration, he would ask the court to give him a little time. He, he's got his old job back, and he would ask if 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 there is going to be that he could serve it on uh, on either a tether or a work release or whatever there might be available. Now, Mr. Is there anything you would like to say? I have a handicap, I have bad nerve damage in my accident. If I'm going to move, sorry, I don't know much. I can only do so much that are permanent life duty restrictions and non repetitive restrictions. So, my one job at USIC, I can get back as soon as my restricted license comes through. I mean, I want to remember right the 23rd. And what the state told me, I can go back to that job right away. But I also got Irving Industries, which I'm supposed to call today, along with USIC, because Irving Industries is also a great paying job, was waiting on everything for this to finish up. I was going to try to high up there. I got to call them today when this is all done. Very well. Is there anything else either of you would like to say before sentence is passed? No, yeah. Your Mr. Glazier, this is, he did plead to uh, OWI IBAC second offense, correct? That's correct, Your Honor. It will be in the order of the court that you spend 12 months on probation will be a fine of $425, state fee of $50, court cost of $750, victim's rights fee of $75, law enforcement fee of $100, cost of prosecution of $50, and attorney fee of $350. If my math is correct, that's $1,825. How long will it take you to pay that? Uh, I'll give you a link of probation, please. I'll grant you over the course of probation. I am going to order an alcohol awareness so you do need to participate in that. I am going to order that you shall submit to alcohol, substance abuse, psychological or psychiatric evaluations required by the probation department, shall attend and complete any treatment or counseling that's required by the probation department, 
shall pay all fees and file receipts with the probation department. You shall attend a victim's impact panel as scheduled. I am going to order that you shall not consume any alcoholic beverages of any nature, including medications, be in any place where alcohol is sold, distributed by the glass cup container, purchase any alcohol for self or others, have any alcohol in your possession or be in any vehicle where alcohol is being transported. You shall check all vehicles for alcohol before entering. You shall submit to a test for alcohol whenever requested by any probation or law enforcement officer and shall not use or possess marijuana unless you have an existing valid medical marijuana card. You shall not apply for a medical marijuana card while on probation or use any non-prescribed controlled substance or synthetic drugs. Now, I just will remind you, when I say no alcohol, I mean no alcohol. So even if you have mouthwash that has the alcohol in it, that will come up positive. That will be a violation. Right. Shall submit to regular random blood alcohol or controlled substance valid testing as required by the probation department. Painting fees required. You must provide to the probation department a telephone number where you can be reached at all times. So make sure you give them up and give them an updated phone number. And if you change your phone number, you have to let them know. All right. Shall make your person, motor vehicle, residence, and all other personality at all times for searches for and seizures of alcoholic beverages. Shall sign such releases of information as required by the probation department and provide verification within 24 hours of all new or changes to prescribed medications. And you're not to live at any residence where there is any alcohol or any controlled substances on the premises. Now, this is an OWI high BAC second. With that, I am going to order five days in jail. So the bailiff is going to take you into custody at this time. Your Honor, is there any way he could set that up? He he's got he's going to get he's going to check with his employer and probably be employed, and it might be easier for him to set it up after he's done that. I don't know. Well, I know he said the one employer is. Uh, next week, and quite literally, if he serves the five days in jail at this moment in time, that will be beneficial to that. I understand he has scheduled to contact an employer today. Um, at this moment in time, it's going to be five days in jail. So right. I'm not going to delay it at this time. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Is there anything else in this matter? No, Your Honor. Okay. Sir, as soon as you're released from jail, you do need to report to the probation department, all right? That's all I have with you this morning, Your Honor.